think I think that if you start to dissect what you'd like to drink, uh, I always tell people go and explore. There's so many shelves in a liquor store, mm -hmm. and just go and explore something that you like or don't like. Because if you don't, right? If you don't, you end up drinking that same, same crap that everybody else drink. drinking. And you drink that, and you're like, oh, I don't get a headache. Let me tell you something. Getting a headache doesn't have anything to do with the alcohol that you have. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Talk about it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 what? Getting a headache doesn't have science. anything to do with What's it got to do with then? The alcohol that you have. Get into the it science. has to do with your body your and your body. blood and your, your liver and how much alcohol you're drinking. Yep. I tell people this all the time. Alcohol, if you, if you are human, right? And it all depends on your body type. Yep. But most body types. Alcohol can only be consumed and processed in your body one ounce per hour. Yeah. One ounce per hour. So as you drink and you get shit faced, <laughs> right? Now drink water. Just imagine if you just wait one hour, you will be drunker than you were an hour ago. But you feel like you need to consume so much to feel the feeling of euphoria. I feel it. You, can you feel don't it. have to do that to yourself. That's why that's why you always see that one person that everybody carrying out the club <laughs> is because they get to the club and they're like, I wanna go from zero to a hundred now yeah. in yeah. ten